Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see about anonymous in our class, right? In the previous videos, we see what are the advantages of using the functional programming into the into the test automation space. Then we also learn what are the benefits we are that we are getting out of it, right? We also learned about what are the stuff that we're going to see in this particular uh, you no know, playlist. But before doing all that thing, we need to have a sound basics on our Java. right so the first important point that we need to know about is anonymous in the class so in this particular video we're going to see entirely about the anonymous in the class again guys if you don't know what it is that's completely fine we're going to see what is anonymous in the class and when to use anonymous in the class and how we can use this anonymous in the class with interface right this has a certain relation with your lambda expressions that found the that forms the basis for your whole func functional programming so this is mandatorily you know this is some kind of mandate that you need to know before we head to functional programming so i'll co cover this on a nutshell what is this anonymous in our class so without wasting much time let's head to the you know eclipse workspace if you notice uh, i i will create a new package maybe i have already package so let me create a new interface so this interface let me name it as uh, printable so uh, so you can you know maybe you know the naming convention is always you have a adjective for the name uh, of an interface okay and you can also add i in front of it so that you know it's more reasonable so, in, so interface printable right so this interface printable you know let's assume it has some abstract method as you guys know in interface we always have a public you know all the methods are by default public and abstract right so with with respect to 1.7 right so let me have a wide method of name print right so this as simple as that so even if you if you can mention this or you don't have to mention this that's absolutely fine but for more readability i prefer writing it right so public abstract void print there is a method that is called a print that that is unimplemented at all so if you have to implement this right so you need to have a class right so you need to define a class okay so let me name it as uh, uh, console uh, printer implementation so normally i don't people love to name it as uh, e i m p l so it's it's the convention that's followed across the industry so basically it indicates that you know this particular class going to deal with the console printer and it's providing the implementation for some interface that's why we we name it as con console printer in implementation so the short form is i m p l right so let's finish this and let me implement this particular interface that is i printable okay so it by default your ide will suggest to add the unimplemented methods so what basically we are doing we are overriding the method that is available in your printable interface in this particular class file right so basically i can write okay uh, print it on console so i don't provide any logic here basically i am doing as so, so and then printing on the consoles so as simple as that so we have now overridden the method the abstract method available in the interface with the help of a class and implementing this particular interface let's try to have another class i know let's name it as test runner from where we are going to execute this whole stuff so so let me also add a main method okay here let's say i i want to you know uh, print this particular uh, method so now i want to call this particular method and what i want to print the statement on the console so for that you also always need the you know object reference let me take the object reference as my interface you can also take the class but for now for a purpose i am taking this uh, i printable interface right so obj equal to new you know uh, console printer right let's wait and if you notice i have this class now if i want to print this i can just call print so this will basically call this particular method in this particular you know class right let's try to run the test and see what's happening okay so it is printing it on the console what happens at the back end right so if you want to understand what's happening at the back end you need to go to this particular target folder okay and if you notice this target folder is having some test classes inside that i have a package called com.java8 inside that i have three class files 
what this class file indicates okay what of the java code that i wrote in my ide is only readable by human it's, it's not understandable by machines right that's why we have a compiler to do the job of converting this human readable code into a machine readable format and then we have at the end uh, we have three classes at the end so these class files are basically uh, you know your uh, java files that's been converted into bytecodes right so you have a class file for each of it so you have a i printable interface so for that you have a i printable dot class and then you have console printer impl and then you have a corresponding class file here you have a test runner dot java you have a test runner dot class file so basically you have three class files right so this this what the conventional way of doing this but what if the only purpose of this particular class is to override this particular method i don't want to use this particular class anywhere else then there is an option called you know anonymous inner class in java so we going to see about that so if you notice we if i write like this okay i printable okay if i write like this it will throw error because i cannot create an object for the interface we know that we cannot create an object for the interface the, because you know we we cannot provide the implementation for this right but what if i can provide the implementation like this okay what if i provide the implementation like this okay so add the implemented methods okay i have now overridden the print method that is available already right in my okay it's it's causing little bit of hiccups so let me remove this okay and then create everything from the scratch okay i have my main method i have my class fake closed okay now if you just type this you will have something called as anonymous inner type okay just double click this it'll it'll have everything sorted out for you okay now let me maximize this so we have now overridden the method that we have in our printable interface okay so i can provide the implementation here as well so this out so this time i'm telling from anonymous class anonymous sorry guys for the typo anonymous inner class okay i'm printing it like this so if i if you know if you notice there is a declaration here so if i want to use this okay you can type object dot print okay let's see what's happening okay let's try to run this as java application and see it is printing me from anonymous inner class so the only purpose of this particular class is to override you know the method available in your interface then you don't even have to create this method you can directly provide the implementation here itself so that's the purpose of anonymous class right so if i go even to this and then i let me delete this whole stuff again okay i don't need that at all because the only purpose is to override i can override here itself so let me again run it whether it's working fine or not let's check it will work absolutely fine so but now let's see what are all the classes we have so if you notice we have a class file for our interface that is i printable dot class we have a test runner dot java file we have another you know test runner dot class but if you notice there is something called as test runner dollar one dot class but we haven't you know created any such things okay so let's go and understand what is that so we notice there is a method here that is overridden right okay overriding your uh, your interface method okay a method inside a block right so a method inside a curly braces right so if you notice this is a method that is inside another curly braces so the, it means it's a class right so there is a method that is inside another curly brace so it may be a class or interface but in, in our case it's a class right so this class does not has its own name right previously we have the name as i uh, you know the console printer impl but this time we don't have a class name so by default java compiler has named this your your class dollar 1 okay so the class name is just runner dollar 1 so it's anonymous class right why we call it as anonymous inner class right because we have a class that is inside that class another class right so there is a class that is inside another class so we call it as inner class that this class is also nameless or anonymous so we call it as anonymous inner class okay so this forms the basis for all your functional programming okay so i hope it makes sense right so if you even want to provide a different implementation so you cannot reuse this so what i if you want to you know 
provide another implementation for this particular method you have to go here and then provide your own from two something like this anonymous in the class test something like this okay and then you can provide your own preference and okay and you can also print this okay if you run like this okay let's try to run it and see what's happening okay so one is printing me from anonymous inner class and another one is printing me anonymous inner class test so you guys need to understand this time we have created one more anonymous inner class to confirm that you can go to the you know java 8 folder and see there is a test runner dot dollar two dot class which means we have created one most one more anonymous inner class okay so guys whatever we have declared here we are we are declaring here we are not executing the test okay let's say I, I i copy i cut this and i paste this here okay see the object implementation is provided first the object one you know this this particular one is provided here since i printing the obj.1.print first okay it will print this particular statement first okay so let me run this and then check what's happening okay let me run this and then check what's happening okay let me run this and then check what's happening okay so if you notice inner class test is getting printed even though i have declared this second so basically we are doing some kind of declarations here, here guys okay it's like you are declaring some string a equal to mudan something like this okay you are just declaring it you are not using it okay so so to summarize okay you know if your only purpose of creating a class is to just to override this particular method and not to reuse across different places okay then we will use an anonymous inner class to do the purpose right so we are actually overriding a method okay that is available in the interface okay and we are it is not having any name so we call it as anonymous class and this class is also inside an another class so we call it as anonymous inner class right so we will only use this if if the only sole purpose is to just override and we don't want to use this class across anywhere i hope it makes sense and we will see what is lambda expression and how the lambda expression is different from your you know your anonymous inner class so guys this is very very important please try to watch the videos multiple times okay even if you don't understand this completely all right we will see more in the upcoming classes where you can understand all these things i hope i i made some you know you know sense today if not please leave that in the comment section i'll try to sort out your doubts in a better way guys uh, if you like the channel please do subscribe share it with your friends and uh, you know send your valuable feedback to me thank you guys i'll all see you in another great video tata bye bye